I'm on a mission for change, and I need your help to change your minds, to change our lives. Do you know that you can change, you can save the world by changing your mind? Because when you start with an idea, your body will follow. Your actions will then reflect your thoughts. So let's start thinking of good things. Let's start thinking of good things that can change the world. Let's start today. We all know that we are near the point of no return when it comes to climate change. There's just two degrees between us and the worst projected events of rising seas, severe storms, extreme heat, drought, and fires. We need to transition to renewable energy, sustainable materials, and eco-friendly alternatives. Plastic was and is, is an incredible invention which propelled the humanity into the future, arguably in the same level as cars, both requiring fossil fuels to manufacture and run. Cement, which is commonly and widely used to build houses and towering buildings that represent humanity's reach for the stars, contribute greenhouse gases directly through the production of carbon dioxide and also through the use of energy, particularly from the combustion of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, we keep hearing them. What are they? Coal, gas, formed in the geological past from the remains of living organisms. So technically, you are using a straw made from a T-Rex. That sounds cool, right? But it isn't. A lot of numbers are coming up next, so feel free to have a snack in your seat or just fake listen to me. You see, the average person creates a carbon footprint of about 20 metric tons in their lifetime. That's about as large as a northern right whale. Have you ever seen a whale? Neither have I. So for all your sake, here's a visual of a whale compared to a human. A northern right whale is 20 tons, okay? So that's about as large as a big dump truck. There's currently over 7 billion people on Earth producing whale-sized whale carbon emissions. That's too much to think about, too much math, too many numbers. How about we quantify it in terms of where these people live? Let's tackle the Philippines. On average, a one-bedroom home takes between 40 to 60 tons of carbon dioxide to build. Remember that whale? I mean that truck, so about double that. Let me break that down for you in much easier terms. This is what a carbon dioxide emission from a home building makes. Walls, 60%. The floors make up 5%. Roof, 5%. Wood is 14%. Pipework and drainage at about 9%. And other items at 7%. That makes a house, not a home. Love is infinitely larger, yet weighs next to nothing. That's who good. So there are 105 million Filipinos who all need a place to live in. Not all of them will build their own homes. But let's just say a third can afford to. That's 300,000 people, and if half of them are married to each other, and the other half are forever alone, that still make 111,000 people creating 40 to 60 tons of carbon dioxide emissions for their homes. That is 4 million tons at the very least. That's 51,948 whales and 59,948 trucks. But did you know that there is an alternative? Shipping containers. Why shipping containers? In 2016, there are 43 million out-of-service shipping containers in the world, and it has greatly increased since then. 
We are promoting the use of decommissioned shipping containers as building materials to also reduce the effect of, the effect of greenhouse gas emissions in the home building process. Shipping containers are constantly being manufactured. It has become the international unit of, of commercial commerce, of commerce. A typical lifespan of a shipping container is 50 years, but its seaworthiness is only up to 10 years. So you see, a shipping container spends more than half of its 50-year lifespan sitting empty and unused. We've had 18 builds so far. We've changed 18 people's minds. We've probably saved about 2,054, 2,554 tons of carbon dioxide output because we used shipping containers as the main building material for these structures. Here's a walkthrough of what we do. We purchase Class B shipping containers. We make use of existing walls roof and flooring of the shipping container. We modify the interior to make it suitable for living. And sometimes we, may, we maintain the exterior look of the shipping container to add character to the home. We turn over units that are fully fitted, fully furnished, and ready for move-in. Now these buildings, these buildings, these homes, these are big things. But they all started out with a small idea. An idea that changed my mind and life. To change lives. Let's start here. Let's start small. Let's start with changing our minds. My name is Mac Evangelista and I need your help to change the world. Thank you.